guys good morning so I'm just getting ready to go out to the gym I just dropped Carter and Cameron off and I'm about to take Kaylee and Landon to the little gym play area um, it's really cool actually the gym that I go to they've got like um, I can just drop them off for like I think up to two hours but basically I want to get in a quick little workout probably just like a 30 minute little workout and then I like to just rinse off real quick and then get ready for the day I'm planning on doing some filming today there's a couple of videos that I really want to do so hopefully I can get those done. Um, I also need to change the bedding in the chicken's coop. So hmm, maybe I can actually film that chicken video today. Or at least some of the close-up clips for it. Desperately need to put on some kind of lip balm because my lips are just like super, super chapped. Anyways, so yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. I have to do it in a short window because Cameron only goes for a few hours. By the way, don't mind my mail over here. I got two new pillows from Ikea. They're so cute. And then this is um, just like a little package that I ordered. Anyways, yes, gonna drink my water, gonna head off to the gym. I think Kaylee's done with her breakfast, let's go. <laughs> Quick update, just got done at the gym. I was thinking about filming in there, but it's like so, so busy and I don't wanna get like other people working out, like how rude would that be? So anyways, just got done. I did a lot of like abs, cause I kinda hurt my knee. I don't know exactly what I did yesterday when I was, sorry, was I just filming my coat? Anyways, I was like jogging on the treadmill yesterday and I, I don't know, it just started hurting all of a sudden at about like nine minutes in. So I just kind of like cooled down at that point and then, yeah, it's just been hurting kind of ever since. But I put it up and like I had a pillow and a hot pack last night when I was falling asleep. So I know it got at least like a couple hours of heating pad. So, oh, there's my alarm for Cameron. Anyways, I even curled my hair because I could and have got to film a video later. How you doing Kaylee girl? You eating your leftover pancake? I like your pigtails. <coughs> They're very nice. <coughs> Landon, what are you up to? What did you do today? Did you, go on, did you go on the slide again? Yeah. I saw you playing with those little animal toys too. That looked fun. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, my arm's a little bit shaky. Anyways, we gotta head home and go get Cameron. Okay, I am starving. I'm gonna go ahead and have some peanut butter toast. I was gonna show you guys like what I've been eating along the day. I had a protein bar in the morning, then I just grabbed a little piece of toast or bread, I didn't toast it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of this white chocolate wonderful peanut butter. This is my all time favorite. It's got, let's see, six grams of protein and seven grams of sugar per serving. So it does have, you know, like a little bit more, but totally worth it, love it. What are you playing? Candy Crush, <laughs> and I got all those. The kids found out about Candy Crush, and so they're obsessed. Anytime I need like some kind of a little bribe, I'll say like, okay, go ahead and get all your clothes on, get dressed for school, Shaky, grab your backpack, shaky, shaky. and you can play Candy Crush. So this has been so Hi, good. Hi, chicken, chicken, chicken. Hi, chicken, chicken, chicken. Are you talking to the chickens? Yeah. I just got done filming one video. I don't know why it took me so long. Well, I was trying to start in a second and I just couldn't get my thoughts together. So anyways, just a little unboxing. This this is where I put my um, laptop so I can see what the camera's seeing. This is so far away. Anyways, a little behind the scenes. Um, I gotta charge these headphones. These are my Beats. Do you guys have these? I've literally, like I've had them for so long and I've never <laughs> charged them. But since I've been using them more like at the gym, instead of just editing and stuff, they've really run low. So anyways, yeah, gotta figure out how to charge these. And, oh, I wanna do an outfit of the day. Well, not from this angle. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later today. Gotta go grab Carter real quick. I'm here a little bit early for picking Carter up, so I thought I would just chat for a minute. I don't think I've actually like talked to you guys in the vlog yet today, so. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so this morning, well, my husband works nights. This was his last night on. So when he got home this morning, he um, went straight to the gym. So he worked out and then he came home and actually rug cleaned in our living room. And then um, I got to see him for a little bit and he went to sleep. So I'm not sure how late he's planning on sleeping in. I think till like four, which kind of stinks because it's going to be a hard transition. It does make it hard when your husband's on like a different time zone than you. You know what I mean? Like you're living together, but you're on different time zones during half the time. But anyways, um, I think he's going to sleep until like four and then we'll go to bed early at like nine or something. So 
Yeah, I'm gonna have the kids for just a few more hours. I was hoping to get a video film for you guys. Um, I was hoping to get two done and I got one done. It was that Cat and Jack box. It's a subscription through Target. So that was really fun. Oh my goodness. I have the cutest footage of Kaylee like trying on those outfits, at least the pictures. I know for sure the pictures turned out good and I think the footage should be super cute too. So make sure you guys watch it if you haven't seen it already. The other video, I'm debating if I wanna do like my chicken like how to raise chickens video because i know you guys want to see that or like a how i afford to be a stay-at-home mom video because i know both of those are like highly requested i definitely should do both of them but i think i'm only gonna have enough time for one at least enough brain power for one so we'll see Ooh. so i'm in the middle of making dinner and we noticed water damage the other day up in our ceiling oh, kind of by our back doors these sliding doors we moved all the plants Joseph's cutting a hole, we gotta see what's going on. We know it wasn't there like a couple weeks ago. We're thinking it's from our bathtub upstairs. Mm. This is gonna be a nightmare to put back. There's the drain for the tub. This is not even attached. Are you helping? Are you helping? Got all the chairs here because the carpet's drying. What are we having for dinner? Can you tell him? What's this? What's this here? Sweet potatoes? Yeah. What's that over there? Broccoli. Broccoli. What's this here? Hummus, hummus Alfredo sauce. And what's that? Uh, Noodles. Noodles. So I'm gonna make sort of like a Alfredo bowl. I'm gonna do a base of sweet potatoes, some broccoli, and then this is the pasta. It's from Trader Joe's. It's an organic brown rice quinoa pasta. I think it's mainly, yeah, so it's brown rice. Yeah, just those three things. Looks pretty good, although this got done really early. So I think I'm gonna run some hot water through this and then make a bowl. Okay guys, here's what it looks like all assembled. I've got a ton of sweet potatoes on the bottom, some broccoli, and then probably about a cup of the pasta and like an ounce of the hummus alfredo sauce. All right guys, it is the end of the night. I'm just working on a blog post real quick. It's actually, sorry about the lighting. It's like reflecting from my computer. Um, this is one on that Cat and Jack subscription box from Target. We did like a mini photo shoot for Kaylee, like in all the clothes, just kind of like a try on, it's basically like a try on haul subscription box. I don't know. I don't normally do videos like that, but I want to do a blog post with like some of the photos from it. So I'm trying to just quickly kind of go through and like flag some of my favorites, like some of the really cute ones. Let me show you. There, so you can see kind of like whenever I've got a red one, that's like one that I thought was especially cute. It's so like that's, you know, this one's like, it shows the detail of the bib. Let's see if I can get one with her actually in it. Or like this one, so cute. So the blog post is gonna be all these pictures, like one in each outfit. I actually think these turned out really, really cute. Before I say goodnight, as customary, let's do some Q&A. So I'm gonna pull from vlog 23, and let's just see what I can find. Mary Catherine 2001 says, can we do a day in the life of Kaylee, who is with me? <gasps> Let me know, leave a comment down below if you wanna see that. I think that'd be so cute, like day in the life of, and then for each of the kids, that'd be so cute. Except for I couldn't really like show Carter at school. I could show taking him and maybe like going to lunch with him or something. That'd be so fun. Samantha Stillman says, what do you recommend for acne scarring and fine lines from age? Um, I mentioned it in a recent video, I think two videos, I've talked about Osea and a few things from them. That atmosphere protection cream is amazing. It's a really good lightweight, like super natural moisturizer. Great ingredients and my husband is hooked on it too and he really like swears by it like it's it's definitely healing any kind of acne scarring and spots that he's got I'm very picky with my skincare and I want everything to be like I like everything to be hydrated and clean and I don't want any little trace of makeup on after you know after I've washed and anyways I really like skincare but that protection cream is really good for like morning time for me um, I always do like a cleanser well Let's not get into the full routine, but basically that one. And um, I also really like the 100% Pure Multivitamin Night Cream. That one is so good for nighttime and it's really thick and I think staying hydrated at night is important. But then also um, like a gel with hyaluronic acid is really important I think for any kind of like fine lines and stuff that you've got going on. 
um, cause it's all about like hydrating the skin. So being hydrated yourself, that'll definitely help keep your face like plump because you know, you've got enough hydration going on, face will be more plump. And then a hyaluronic gel. So I really like the one from my shell. Um, there's one I get on Vitacosts. I don't remember the name of it, but it's just like a hyaluronic gel from my shell dermaceuticals. Um, there's also a really good one from 100% Pure in their um, cucumber line. I like that one. And then they have one from Osea too that's really, really good. That's what I used. Um, like that's what I'm using right now. That's what I used tonight. So I always do a cleanse. Usually I'll spray with a hydrosol real quick. And then I'll put on a hyaluronic acid gel. And then I'll go in with like eye cream, moisturizer, that kind of thing. High maintenance, I know. But I just, I really, really like skincare. Corey and niece says, how old is Kaylee? My twins are almost two and still can't eat from a plate or bowl. Still in the finger food stage. Any tips on teaching them how to eat and drink from normal cups and plates? Um, so Kaylee will be two on the 19th of March. Sorry, I'm getting really close. I think the biggest thing is just practice. Like over time they learn, especially if you're giving them, like if you're giving them normal cups and letting them practice. Sure, she spills, you know, she spills a lot of cups. Um, but I think just like, you know, filling them up just a little bit. Also, there's these really good cups I got from, I think, Target. I'll try and find them online so I can link them. I think they were from, I want to say like Munchkin brand, but it's basically like, it looks like a regular cup and it has a lid that goes over the top of it, but it's like, I'm not going to be able to describe this. It's basically like, it has this silicone thing that goes over the top so they get to drink from it like a normal cup but it can't spill because it's got a lid, but it has like a little lip in there so they get water out of it. Hopefully I can find a link and you guys can see what I'm talking about, but that really, really helps definitely like to get the transition from normal cups. And now a lot of the times either she'll drink with it with that thing on or I can just twist the top off um, cause she likes to use like a normal cup like us. And then plates, I don't know, I just always, usually I always put their food on plates like dinner and stuff cause it's just much easier to clean just a normal plate. But yeah, I think it's just mainly practice and making messes and they kind of learn that way. Ashley Keltner says, super cute kiddos and I love the Q&A session at the end of videos. Your cloth diapering series is what started my interest in YouTube years ago. That's so sweet. Um, she says, what vlogging camera and editing software do you use? So I edit with Final Cut Pro 10 and then the camera that I'm filming on right now is the Canon G7X. Um, and then for my, so this is like my vlogging camera. And then my normal like DSLR camera is a Canon 80D. And I've got those linked. I always have them linked in my description bar. If you guys want to see like a lot of our favorites or like my cloth diaper favorites, our cameras, I always put those in our Amazon shop. So if you want to go see the exact camera and you want to be able to find it with a link, just check our little Amazon shop link down in the description. Brittany Miller just said she would like to see a video on houseplants. That one just went up. I will link it up in the cards because I just did a houseplant tour. Real Life Mama, she says donations are her least favorite thing to organize for taxes. I know. I try to keep it organized. It's just entering everything. It's like, ugh. Um, she says, does Osea ever have any good sales or do you have recommendations for more budget-friendly skincare options? Yeah, they're definitely a, a high-end, like, pure natural skincare brand and I also like 100% pure I feel like they're very comparable price points um Vitacost that's what I would recommend for like budget friendly skincare my shell is a really good one I'm not sure they might be about the same but there's a lot of sales on Vitacost and Osea does have sales but I would say like start with one of their smaller kits that way you can like narrow down what you really like one that has like multiple products in it and then you can figure out like what's going to be the best fit for you and what you love the most. And then I would say splurge on that one. But they do, I'll try and let you guys know when I see a sale come up. Especially, I think they did like Black Friday last year. Oh, Acure Organics. That's a really good brand too for natural skincare. That would be my budget friendly recommendation. And they're on Vitacost and that's like they have the best prices over there. And they do, sometimes they'll be like 15% off all Acure or 25% off. So just got to keep an eye out. She also says... When did you change your channel name? I like it. So those of you who haven't noticed, I just changed my channel name. Um, it used to be Naturally Thrifty Mom, and now I'm just going to be known as Naturally Brittany. And I think it's going to be... I haven't made a video. I should probably like make an announcement video or something. I don't know what the proper thing to do is, but I finally just decided to buckle down and do it. I've been thinking about it for a long time. 
but I mean, I've had my channel name for like seven years, I want to say. Um, yeah, I just, I really wanted to switch things up. I still want to do videos about natural products and things and still about thrifty things and mom stuff. Of course, no change in like my channel content, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to have my name somewhere on my channel, especially since there's so many of you now and so many new people, it's hard to connect with everyone. And just, I think people knowing your name is like the first step to getting to know you. So just wanted to have my name as part of it. And I feel like naturally, Brittany, it just, for one, natural, like I love natural products and natural living. I'm a crunchy mom at heart, but also it kind of stays true to my, you know, like my roots here on YouTube is naturally Brittany. So anyways, it goes along with my new blog too, naturallybrittany.com. Check it out, shameless plug. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting. Leave me a comment down below if you've got any more questions or if you wanna be featured in the next Q&A. If you're looking to get caught up on the vlogs, I will link my previous vlog up in the cards, so make sure you check that out. Subscribe if you are new and you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.